finance is simply equal to mathematics plus money. Now, that suggests that mathematics as a discipline is equal to finance without the money. But really, that's not, <laughs> that, that's not, my, that's not my point. Although it's true, by the way. That's not my point. My point is that finance is the study, the systematic and disciplined study of financial transactions, of money. Now, when you see this, you might think, well, gee, I don't really have a strong math background. Maybe I'm in the wrong place or the wrong class. And I want to explain to you that that's uh, completely uh, inaccurate uh, and, and uh, inappropriate. When I say mathematics, I'm actually talking about a very wide range of mathematics. Everything from the extraordinarily complex and profound to the extremely pedestrian and obvious. So literally, the range from differential geometry and partial differential equations on one end of the spectrum to arithmetic and high school algebra at the other end of the spectrum. So when I say finance is equal to mathematics plus money, there's a variety of kinds of mathematics that could be appropriate for creating an extraordinarily profitable career in this industry.